going on YouTube? I just trade here. I help all my Quest Therapeutic investors out there still hanging on and you were able to dollar average in. Uh, I mean, if not, I completely understand because uh, trust me, uh, after today's fiasco, my account uh, went in the negative. Well, not my account, but my position in Quest Therapeutic finally did go into the red. Um, base, everything's in the red. All the contracts are in the red. Everything's in the red. But you know what? On a good note, I did bring my average down. Okay, my average was at like 495. I was able to get that average down to four dollars and thirty-three cents. Okay, I did buy a little bit more shares today with Equestia Therapeutic, or actually, you know what? I did buy quite a bit more um, because, like, I the FDA, um, like. The delay really isn't that big of a deal for me. I'm not really tripping about it because if you miss Legeveron, I mean, you should really look into Legeveron. The Legeveron play was a very unique um, animal when it happened. Now, Equestia Therapeutic has a few other Padufa dates and a few other FDA approvals coming in the next year. So I kind of, uh, I like the fact that we're putting it off until 2022 because not only do we got earnings coming up on March 18th, but we should be getting another um, FDA approval right after that one. And hopefully the FDA is able to get, you know, their shit together and um, they're able to get our drug. They're able to look at it and give us the approval. Dan. I know people are saying on there that it says something that has to do with the that the FDA doesn't believe they're ready for it. Um, I don't think that has that has anything to do with it. I'm not really buying it. I'm just. Um, buying more shares okay now if you don't believe in this one i completely understand you can move on and um, invest in another one and uh good luck uh, hopefully that one will actually produce for you but um, i'm still betting on the padufa date for this epilepsy drug i mean there's a lot of people still tied in on it uh unfortunately now i'm a little tied in on it i didn't think we would ever come back down these ranges but i always did kind of speak about the 152 day moving average and I did say that the possibility of testing it was there. And I mean, we are there. I mean, we're right back at it, basically. This is the 200 day, 152 day moving average, whatever one you want to use. That's basically where we're at right now. Now, usually, I mean, a lot of people, that's where a high conviction level is. So, I mean, we'll see what happens. But until we get any more information about exactly what's going to happen, we're basically in the dark right here. And it's basically just speculation. And. It's just a waiting game, basically. That's all we can do here. Wait it out, and hopefully we made the right decision by doubling down on this one. Hopefully you didn't make the wrong decision by jumping out of it. Um, that's what I got for you. Just, hell, welcome to the investments, baby. That's what this is about. That's what happens. I mean, nothing's guaranteed in this world right here, especially when you're investing. This was an anticipation. Anticipations are never a for sure deal, all right? Catch you guys on my next video. I'm out.